Hello, and welcome to another Test Gaming Discussion. I'm your host, T-Man28, and today I'm joined by L to discuss our predictions for the September 4th, 2019 Nintendo Direct. So L, what is your overall excitement for the September Direct, after the E3 Direct? Well, I guess I'm pretty excited for it. I mean, I'm really hoping this is, a, you know, way better than the E3 Direct was, because, I don't know, I felt like the E3 Direct just had me with more questions, you know, than I had answered. So, I just hope, in that sense, I hope this Direct conquers the E3 Direct. Yeah, I agree. I... The E3 Direct wasn't bad in my opinion, but it was not was a, what I was expecting. Like, there were some good announcements like Animal Crossing, A New Horizons, and Breath of the Wild 2, but besides that, there wasn't much in terms of what I like, but... So I'm hoping this will be better. So to start off in some more in-depth predictions, we're going to start with games that have already been announced for this Direct, and then we will um, go on to the games that we think will be announced. So the first game coming up is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening remake on the Nintendo Switch, which is coming out on September 20th. Do you think they will show much of this game? Because it's just coming out in like two and a half weeks. No, I doubt it. It'll probably be like a little ad reminding us to buy the game. You know, but I don't think they will show us any new information because they basically have shown us everything that they can before the game comes out because, you know... Why do, why do, you know, spoil the game. Yeah, why have this, like, big, you know, thing revealed right three weeks before the game comes out? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yep, I agree. Well, this, on the same day, the Switch Lite is getting, um, revealed. And do you think they'll announce anything with that? Because, once again, that's coming out in two and a half weeks. Do you think they'll have any new bundles with... Link's Awakening, for example, or Animal Crossing, or is it way too late to announce, like, a new bundle? Well, yeah, they might announce a bundle, but I don't know. I don't know for Link's Awakening more as... Well, I mean, they could do a bundle to advertise Link's Awakening, since they, you know, it probably won't get, you know, as much sales as, you know, other games that are coming up later in the, um, in the year. But, um, it'll probably have bundles like your bigger games with your Sword and Shield and your, um, you know, Luigi's Mansion 3 games that, um, or even Animal Crossing because those are games people want, but they necessarily can't really get a Switch or they, you know, can't afford, you know, an actual, you know, Switch. So <laughs> they might get the Switch, like that bundle might help those in that sense. Yeah. I think this Direct will mostly be all, um, hardware, or, um, software, not hardware, so I don't think there'll be many, they won't announce a Switch Pro, basically is what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, we're kind of just breezing through this, these few things, because there's not much to announce for these few things. Exactly. So, on to Luigi's Mansion 3. That game comes out on October 31st. Do you think they'll show off a new trailer with any new information, or is it, do we know enough? Well, I mean, I guess they could do it. They could probably add, like, maybe one new feature. But if they were going to announce any other new information, it'd be information that no one really needs anymore because we basically have that um, enough information to say yes or no to the game. Um, but they might add more information about new floors or, you know, stuff like that. But I doubt that they'll have any new information about this game because it's basic. They basically said so much that again, you can say yes or no if you want this game or if you don't. Yeah, I'd be surprised though if they didn't show it at all. You, th you, they'll probably show us a little bit, like reminding us of the game. But I don't think, yeah, I don't think they'll show off anything too major. Yeah, they won't. They won't show off anything new, but they'll probably have a little reminder or a little ad for the game. Yep, I agree. So, moving on, Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. So, a little thing about that. Just recently, a few days ago, Sega accidentally announced, or revealed on their webpage, um, 
12 new characters, which are Jet, Zavok, Zaz, Eggman Nega, Espio, Rouge, Diddy Kong, Toadette, Larry, Ludwig, Wendy, and Rosalina as playable in the game. So do you think they're going to do an official reveal of this in this direct? Um, yeah, they might. I mean, I don't know. They easily could not. I mean, they easily, they easily couldn't, but I mean... It seems like since they've already revealed it on their website, on their webpage, they probably should, you know, get it out there that they are going to have these characters as permanent characters or just guest characters like they did in Rio, in the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. So they probably should say what they're, you know, what they're going to do with these characters because some of these, you know, some of these guys have been um, wanted in the game for a long time. And in Rio... If you bought the game, you were very disappointed because they weren't permanent characters. You could only, like, Espio, you only had him for, what was it, the triple jump, I think. And I hated that mini game. I don't, <laughs> I mean, I hated that event. So, I mean, but, yeah, so they have to tell us, you know, I feel like they kind of have to tell us that these are permanent characters or these are guest characters. So I feel like this direct would be perfect for doing that. So yes, I do think so, but they'll probably have, you know, them announce it. Yeah, I think, yeah, they really need to clear it up. Are these characters guest characters, or are they promoted to full-fledged characters in every event? Which I know we'd all love, but it seems kind of far-fetched at this point. Because they would have been promoting it, putting it in, like, the demos that they had at E3 and certain events like around the country but yeah that that's true we would love it though yeah 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 so like many of us would love that having them as permanent yeah i'm getting really excited for this game after like like they've made this game look as fun in my opinion till london 2012 right um yeah i just like would you know after for me after 2012 and then we had you know rio I mean, London 2012, and then we had Rio 2016, like, I just felt, you know, 2016 had so many letdowns, because we didn't really have as much events as we did compared to, twenty like, 2012 to, I mean, Rio didn't have as many events as London did, and the guest characters, I felt, like, why even have them at all if you could really only use them in one event? But, I don't know, I, I just hope that Tokyo 2020 will be, you know, a better successor than Rio 2016. And they had the Sochi 2014, and that was basically just, like, a copy off of the 2010 Vancouver, but, like, a light version, kind of, in a way. Right. So, but from what we've seen of the game so far, it's looking amazing. Like, um, the characters all wearing, like, different outfits depending on the sport, which is really cool in my opinion, so, yeah. Yeah, don't forget those Sonic the he- those Sonic characters are wearing little tank tops now, so yeah. <laughs> those are very necessary now. So moving on to arguably the most important game of this year, Pokemon Sword and Shield, and everyone wants information about that. Um, like for example, the starter evolutions. Do you think we're gonna see the starter evolutions in this direct? No, I do not because. I mean, they'd either save that for, you know, a Pokemon Direct, or they'll probably, they might even just, you know, wait it out until the game comes out. Because it's already, I mean, it's already September. I mean, the game comes in November. Um, I feel like if they're going to give us any information about Pokemon Sword and Shield, it will be filler information. So, I mean, I guess if I have to explain it, filler information is information that, I mean, people ask for more information about the games, so I will use Sword and Shield for, as this, as an example. So, um, since we're talking about it, so, you know, we want the start, we want the evolutions of the starters, we want more information about more Pokemon, people want more information about Galar forms, people want, some people want more information about, you know, the characters, some people want more information about the layout, the actual map of the game, like the towns and everything. But what Nintendo is probably going to do is they're, and the Pokemon company and Game Freak, they're probably going to have 
information that no one really wants, but you can't say they didn't give us any information because they did. <laughs> like, so something like, um, Pokemon Sword and Shield will be available on the Switch Lite as well as, you know, all these other games on the, you know, so like, it will be available for for purchase uh, with Switch Lite or something like that. No one really asked for that information. No one cares about that information about that game, but you cannot say they did not give us any information about Pokemon Sword and Shield. So far from what we've seen of Sword and Shield, we've seen nothing compared to what we've seen at the same time for Sun and Moon, which is okay for some people. Some people don't like the game spoiled for them, but I personally would prefer a little bit more information, like in terms of Pokemon. Yeah, I agree. But, but yeah, we're probably not going to get that. For sure. Because, I mean, I feel like, yeah, um, we really are kind of left in the dark with everything, you know, in, in this game. Compared to Sun and Moon, we really have no none whatsoever information about this game. Yeah, during Sun and Moon, we were getting trailers, like, every other week. And now we're getting trailers, like, once a month at average. Right. Okay. Well, on to another Game Freak game that was announced l at the last September Direct. The code na or the, um, town- the game Town. Do you think we'll see that? Or what do you think of that? Because there was a recent, um, trademarking by Game Freak called Little Town Hero. So that could be the final name of the game. Do you think that will be the case? And if so, are we going to see information? And when do you think it will be revealed? Or announced? I don't know about Town or Little Town or whatever the trademark was <laughs> that I just can't really think of right now even though you just said it but um town like I don't know about town like I'm like okay well like, we really have no information about town other than town and you know the new trademark and so you know I think it was a little boy protecting his town from monsters right that was kind of the um the appeal right the um not really genre, but the, uh, plot, I guess, if you will, but, um, I don't know, I mean, like, I'm, I'm not sure, like, I guess they'll have to, if they're gonna mention it, but I'm not really sure, I mean, like, I'm kind of wondering, like, it's pretty far-fetched, but I'm kind of wondering if this game kind of got cancelled, or something, you know, I mean, like, because we really have no, no information other than town, right, and then the trademark, which was kind of new. So, like, now I'm kind of wondering if this is, like, just kind of a Japanese title, you know? Like they did with so, so many of their other games, like Nintendo and, you know, has done with so many of their other games. But I'm not really... I'm That's kind of what I'm wondering right now, but I'm not... Yeah. Like, we'll probably have more information about town, but... Yeah, it seems more of, like, one of those, like small, in well, not indie titles, but one of their eShop titles, like Snipper Clips right. and Box Boy that they just release some random day when there's no other games. Like, maybe, for example, the beginning to middle of October, or, like, the slow times at the beginning of the year, like January and February. Right. But, uh, yeah, moving on to the big one, Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's, we're... I'll just say it, we're probably getting a trailer for this game because Emily Rogers, the one who leaked, or kind of leaked this direct, said that we were going to be getting announcements from September 2019, which is now, to March of 2020. So that implies Animal Crossing. And I am so hyped for this game. If you've seen our analysis, you know I really dug deep down into this game and I've I love this. I really hope we get new, new information. So what do you think? Well, yeah, we might get new information. I'm not really, well, I'm not, like, yeah, since Emily Rogers said it, of course it's, you know, true, but, um, well, I'm not, like, I don't know, like, that could go either way with me. Like, I could totally see them, you know, saying little tidbits of the game, but I could definitely see them just, you know, saying nothing at all because... And waiting for, a. Uh... Animal Crossing New Horizons specific direct in the beginning of next year. Yeah, not even like that, but like they kind of said a lot about it in a way, like with their Treehouse Live, you know, did, you know, videos of gameplay and everything. I mean, they could easily say, well, we showed you a lot of it, you know, already and we can wait for the next direct, <laughs> you know, 
but I mean they could yeah but they could definitely give us more information like you know if there's going to be new villagers or not I mean if the bat if the bats theory is um <laughs> for villagers is correct or not or you know there's so much they could reveal but it's hard to like predict specifically like you so it's impossible for someone to predict this is the exact type of flower that will be shown at this second in the trailer like well, well yeah no i mean like of course like that's almost impossible but i mean i'm not expecting anyone to do that but i mean yeah they actually might show off a new villager type though because new leaf brought us a deer and hamsters and it's a, there's a very good chance we're at least going to get one or two new villager types right. right but like there's a lot of animals that they've already done i mean there's not that many i mean well, I'm trying to think of a couple, maybe, um, armadillos. Have they done armadillo? armadillos? No, I don't think so. They did, what was that, anteaters? Right. Yeah, but I don't think they've done armadillos. Yeah. Or aardvarks, huh? They haven't done No. Because I have just learned today, anteaters and aardvarks are not the same animal. They're completely different animals. If you don't believe me, look it up. It's true. Yeah, I I always thought they were the same thing too, but yeah, I was proved wrong earlier, so yeah. Right. Oh, they could do iguanas. We have not had an iguana or a lizard, for that matter. Unless you count that special character. What was his name? Kyle or something? I think his name was Nat. <laughs> Nat? Okay. He looks more like a Kyle, but that's okay. Um, See, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with like the type of villagers we have right now. The only ones that I think would be really cool are like sharks or dolphins, but that's kind of far fetched. Well, you hear that, guys? We are predicting that there will be armadillos, aardvarks, bats, sharks, and dolphins, along with many other things like lizards. And possibly a Komodo dragon as the new Animal Crossing types. And possibly a, um, a chameleon named Nat. <laughs> I mean, Kyle. <laughs> yes, a, a, a iguana named Kyle. Qu Kyle the iguana. Oh, iguana, sorry. He's great. <laughs> yeah, I know they're different things, sorry. He's amazing, he's even better than Nat. I'm just so hyped for Animal Crossing news. I really don't care what they show as long as it's something new. Exactly. So the final game I just want to touch on real quickly that has been announced, but we haven't really got any information, is um, Detective Pikachu. Do you think we're going to get any information on the Detective Pikachu Switch game? I do not, because it's like, okay, with Detective Pikachu, even though they had like a little movie, like, you know, the Warner Brothers movie for that, it's not really that big of a title as, per se, your Sword and Shield, like Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, I really, like, I don't feel like it'd be in this direct, it'd be, like, you know, in a Pokemon direct, like, as a little tidbit in the Pokemon direct. Like, I mean, Sword and, like, obviously, for, like, Sword and Shield, it'd probably, like, be a little tidbit, like, in this direct, you know? But it could be, like, but, per se, you know, a Pokemon direct, it'd be, like, the biggest thing, right? But, like, Detective Pikachu is a sideshow Pokemon game. It's not really a sideshow Nintendo game, you know what I mean? It's not really a, a shy, you know. So, like, I really don't feel like it'd be in this direct. It'd be, like, a little tidbit, you know, a little bit more information in a Pokemon direct. I think the Pokemon company would want to reveal this on their own, not, like, give it over to Nintendo. So I don't think this will be revealed either. And finally, I forgot to mention, Breath of the Wild 2, I don't think there'll be any information in this they said at E3 it was in development, so that implies it won't be out for at least another year. Yeah, I do not think they will give us any information about Breath of the Wild 2, unless, you know, their product, their development sped up, like, I don't know, you know, 50 miles per hour, like, you know, 50... 50 they added 50 more people to their team point. all of a sudden, and yeah. Exactly, yeah, I don't think they're gonna announce it, unless, you know... Yeah, we'd all love it, but probably not. Okay, let's move on to the games that we personally will think will be announced at the Direct. So, first, I want to um, touch on 
Nin recently, Nintendo um, posted a picture on Twitter of Mario eating a watermelon, and that sparked a huge, like, not really controversy, but more like um, excitement towards a new Mario game possibly becoming um, out because in like their tweet, Nintendo was talking about like, um, hope you were enjoying the fresh sunshine or whatever, and having a nice odyssey. So people are thinking this is either, this is possibly four different things. It could be a Super Mario Sunshine remake on the Switch, a Super Mario Odyssey 2 that would feature like Delfino Island or Plaza, um, or um, Super Mario Odyssey Sunshine DLC, or it could be none of these things. But let's touch on each of these things. L, do you think Super Mario Sunshine will be remade for this for the Nintendo Switch? Um, I don't know. I mean, like it could for sure happen. I just don't really see it happening. I mean, but <laughs> I've been surprised, you know, many times before, but this one just seems so unlikely to me in a way like, I mean, even though this tweet very much, you know, shines that light on, you know, on it, but I just don't really think, you know, Mario yeah. Sunshine will be on the Switch. I just, I don't know. I, I just, think, I, just I think the two other th options are more likely. I think that Super Mario Odyssey 2 is more likely and that it will feature like the sunshine areas as like a big part of it or um, Super Mario Odyssey Sunshine DLC but speaking of the D Sunshine DLC or Odyssey DLC I think it's too late for that that game's almost been out for two years and it'd be really yeah. weird to add DLC two years after the game came out well yeah I mean like it's kind of in a way, I wouldn't say dead necessarily, but it's kind of like lost its thunder. So yeah, they probably, yeah, they don't, you don't really see any more costumes, you know, being on your little news feed on your Switch, you know, like, a, hey, this is a new uh, cost Mario Odyssey costume, you know, the mummy costume, uh, you know, but it's probably, it is too late, I think, to like say anything new. But they could easily, but they easily could just say try to get more morale, you know, for the game, and if you will, like try to get more people to play the game, you know, with that DLC. Since yeah. so many people love Sunshine, you know. Yeah. Yeah. See, I think it's a little late too, and I when you were speaking about how Odyssey was quote unquote kind of dead, I kind of agree because if you if you look at the sales charts. Super, or, uh, um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has passed, um, Mario Odyssey in total sales. And originally, Mario Odyssey, I, if I'm pretty sure, like, when it was released, Mario Odyssey had more sales. And if you, like, even if you look at the sales, Breath of the Wild is selling more, like, units weekly and monthly than, um, Mario Odyssey. So I think that just shows that people, there's not much excitement around the game, and we're more likely to get a sequel than anything. So... Let's move on to a Super Mario 3D World port. This was Emily Rogers once again. Wow, she's very credible. She was talking about um, how there's probably going to be a port of a 2013 Wii U game, first party, coming to the Switch, which she said was supposed to be this year, but it was pushed back to very early next year, like January, February. And that could possibly be two things, in my opinion. Super Mario 3D World or Pikmin 3. Do you think either of these will be ported or to the Switch in the first place? And if so, do you think it will be announced here? Well, I mean, I don't really know about Super Mario 3D just because we just got Mario Maker. And to kind of satisfy those people that love the game, they kind of added that feature, you know, in Super Mario Maker 2. So I don't necessarily see Super Mario 3D, you know, in that, but, um, Pikmin 3, I mean, we really haven't had, you know, a Pikmin game in forever, so Port might satisfy those Pikmin 3, uh, those Pikmin, uh, fans, so I could definitely see that one getting ported, but I don't know if it'd really be necessarily announced on this Direct. Yeah, yeah I don't really see that, 
being announced on this direct, if it even's gonna happen, because, you know, that's a big if in the first place. I personally don't even think um, Super Mario 3D World will be ported, because if it was going to, it would have happened before Mario Maker, so people could play it and be like, oh, this is a cool new style, I'll, I better pick up this game. But since the game's already out, I don't think there's much yeah. point in releasing the game now. Right. And then Pikmin 3, I think that's a good possibility, but I don't know, I see that more of like a... I guess it could come out in January, February, but that's like a more of a late spring, early summer title I see. Yeah, I, I agree. I I find that more, you know, like, like springy. You know. Yeah, it's Pikmin. It's it's based on gardening. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, not dead in the winter when all the crops are failing, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You never know. In terms of a Mario sports game, I just want to touch on this quick. Do you think there'll be a Mario sports game sports game announced? Because at E3, we were pretty confident that like Mario Baseball and Mario Golf was going to be announced. And that never happened. So do you think it'll be here? No, no, not at all. Unless it was like, no, no, I do not think um, a sports game will be announced. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty positive, in fact. I am almost 100% sure that there will not be a Mario new uh, Mario Maker, a uh, new Mario uh, sports game. I just don't really feel like it's the time right now. We already, for Nintendo... Well, it's almost until winter, unless you're announcing Mario Hockey. I don't really see right. the point I mean, in like, announcing I don't, a sports yeah, game. Yeah, I don't see it. Like, yeah, it's not really the time to announce a new Mario game. I mean, especially, like, well, I mean, for... I don't really think it's the time, because we have the 2020, you know... Tokyo 2020 games. I really think that's just kind of, you know, yeah, for like, that's already kind of, you know, your sports game. Not of the year, but, you know, your sports game out there. So I really don't think, unless it was like something, I don't know, like golf that we haven't had a game of since forever. I mean, maybe, but. Well, we've had 3DS titles, but we haven't had like a, yeah, a console version since the GameCube. Exactly. So I don't really think, you know, Maybe, I think the maybe, golf, maybe. maybe golf, because you. I think for golf, they would want to release it in spring, so maybe it would be a good time, but baseball and strikers, I would see that more of, like, an announcement like Mario Tennis Aces, where they announce it in the January Direct and then release it later yeah. in summer. Definitely no to the baseball. Maybe I'm still leaning more to no on strikers and golf. I just don't think right now is a great time for if there was a Mario sports game, I don't think it'd be a good time to sh showcase it now. No, I agree. Okay, let's quick mention Pikmin 4. Miyamoto said in 2015 that this game was done. Will they finally show it and reveal it, or is this game just gone and cancelled and something happened to it in development? Well, I mean... That is like, I don't know. It could just be gone. They he could have just like me and Moto could have just easily cancelled it. I mean they did do that with Star Fox too. But um, you know, and I just I don't know. I mean like it would be very weird to just kind of have it sh appear, like show up now. I mean, I don't know. It it'd just be very weird for it to just kind of appear right now after we have yeah it was you know in uh develop almost done in the development phase and then we and then you know we haven't heard about it ever since that so i just kind of think it's a little you know weird but i they could i mean yeah i applied the same logic as our pikmin 3 port it's it's gonna be winter why would they announce it now they would announce it before summer, I'd say, or spring. Right. Okay, so... Once again, I just want to touch quickly on Metroid, Metroid Prime Trilogy. Do you think that's a thing and going to be announced, or should we... I personally think they'll wait until closer to launch a Metroid Prime 4. Right, because that one just got, like, pushed back. I mean, like, you know... This, I do, yeah, I, I feel like that one... Um, the trilogy will be announced um, 
you know, closer to when that game will be, uh, closer to that game's done development, you know? Yeah, so people can play it right before Metro Prime 4 comes out. Exactly. It's kind of pointless right now, you know, to wait, like, to have it and play it and then, like, wait two or, you know, two years, two, three years for the actual, you know, Pri Metroid Prime 4 game comes out. I think, like, I'm pretty sure this thing, this game exists. It was put into Best Buy system in, a in April, and then all the credible leakers are saying that it's, like, it exists, but the Nintendo is just holding out until the right time. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Metro Prime 4 and Retro Studios, do you think Retro Studios was working on the game for the last four years? And they probably were, and if so, do you think that game's finally going to get announced after a tropical freeze? Oh, what makes you what makes you think that funk they weren't working on Funky Kong those four years, I mean, for all we know. <laughs> but sure, their, you know, mystery game might be announced. Um I don't like I, it could be announced, but again, I just feel like these things are kind of out of the blue, but you know, one or I guess it's now or never that they have to, you know, introduce these games. So yes, I mean this that could easily, you know, be announced in the strict. If they do announce a game, what do you think it'll be? Do you think it'll be like another Donkey Kong Country game as like a s sequel to Tropical Freeze to like make another trilogy with returns in Tropical Freeze, or do you think it'll be a brand new IP? I don't know. I mean like. I feel like the most likely of the two is probably, you know, finish it, finish the trilogy, the new trilogy of, you know, the Donkey Kong Country, but I don't know. I mean, that seems more likely, but yeah, they could have a new IP. Yeah. Well, well Retro, Retro Studios, Studios games, games have always, always been really good quality, quality so, so it would not be surprised if Nintendo's like, here, you guys can make your own new series and... New that IP, because you guys are amazing. That is, that is 100% true. Okay, so, this September is the one year anniversary of Nintendo Switch Online. Do you think, for the one year anniversary, they're gonna be nice and give us Super Nintendo games to the service? Or do you think they're just like, nope, no way? Well, yeah, I do think that they'll, yes, cause, yes, I do. Um... I just don't think it'll be announced in this direct. I think it'll just be like a little news, you know, a little news ad, like, hey, you know, hey, we have Super Nintendo, you know, so then Super Nintendo's out now, you can, you, you know, you can download it or, or don't, it's your choice, you don't have to, but, you know, it's available, <laughs> I mean, something like that. I, I just don't think it'll be announced in this direct. You think they'll, like, push it to the side, like, um, Tetris 99, like, they gave that as a free bundle? Yeah. Because, like, I don't think either of us have downloaded it, have you? I no, haven't. No, I have not downloaded Tetris 99. Yeah. yeah. I just don't ever... I heard it's good, but I've never really found the appeal in it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just... I I like, want I to, know. but... I want to, but I just... I don't know. Like, at the same time, don't. <laughs> yeah, I personally just have... I know a lot of people want more appeal to Nintendo Switch Online, but I'm... I have Nintendo Switch Online to play Splatoon 2 Online and Smash Bros. Ultimate Online, so I'm gonna get it no matter what they add with it. Exactly. I mean, all the core, like, f the main reason we have online is to play online. I mean, sure, they added little quirks to online, so you have, because you have to pay for online, but when what you're getting with online is, um, you know, being able to play with other people. I mean, outside, you know, not always have, you know, like in Splatoon, if you have Splatoon and then they ha you have, you know, and you don't have online, that's, Splatoon is literally like a worthless game, you know, because you can't do anything outside of it. You just have to do the single player. Like, I remember when the game came out, my Wi-Fi went out, so... It was like the day after, and I literally just sat there playing single player mode the whole time. And, you know, I beat it once, you know, already. 
So I was trying to get all the little weapons, you know, from it. But it's just so, um, like, it's so boring. So it's so repetitive and it's so boring because, you know, that's and that's all you would do, you know, playing online. I couldn't even stand a day of that, you know. So, no, I can't, like, spend, you know, a year or two, you know, without online. I mean, no way. So, like, the whole purpose of online is so you can play games like Splatoon, you know. Yeah, and online, yes, it you are paying for something that was free, but many people don't see that. So here's my view. If you play get Smash Bros. Ultimate and don't have online, never used to online, sure, you could do World of Light and play as many battles local, like locally and do class promote as time, many times as you want. But at some point, you're just going to max out and probably at about 50, 60 hours, you won't want to play that game anymore. But with online, you could play that for hundreds and hundreds of hours. Well, yeah, because you're, it's always something different because it's like you're playing with other people. Other people have other strategies, other people, like other people think differently than you do. So yes, it's always going to be, you know, a different, like a different battle because you might play, you know, you might play one um, character differently, but another person will play that character completely different. It's always, you know, something it's always something new, if you will. Like, even though you're on the same rules, you're on, like, you know, you're on, like, an Omega stage or a Battlefield stage, it's this, you know, but it's still different because, you know, the people you're playing with are different, and they're not a computer. Well, we kind of went off on a tangent there, but speaking of Smash Bros, the Fighter Pass number four, right before like a few days ago, it got leaked that this, on Smash Bros. website, by themselves, it said it's copyright SNK character, or SNK Corporation. So that is basically confirming that the fourth Fighter Pass character will be an SNK character. Do you think this character will be announced here, or do you think they'll wait off until after Banjo-Kazooie is released? So, uh, yeah, I mean... <sighs> I don't really think that it'll get announced in this direct. I think it'll be more closer to Banjo and Kazooie, like arrival in Smash, because I feel like that makes more sense. Like, I don't know, like they could easily announce it now, but I just think it makes more sense for them to do it later, because they we really in a we well, it has been since summer since they have announced these characters, but I feel like it's like since they've announced. Um, the uh, hero and Banjo and Kazooie, but I still think it's a little too soon to announce this new character. I feel like at least after we have Banjo and Kazooie out, they'll announce this new character. Yeah, I could see either way because um, I feel like since that um, thing on Nintendo's webpage for the SNK thing actually happened, I think there's actually a decent chance we might get a reveal, but. You never know. They have... I'm just saying, in, like, I think out of, like, all directs in the past two years, they've all either ended or started with Smash, except, like, one or two. So, right. you, you never know. But the, if it's an SNK character, that's not a huge deal in America. I don't think that's, like, anything most people are going to be excited about. You never know, though. I mean, you know, anime is so big. Like, like I know, like, people who adore, like, I don't know, live, die for anime, you know? I mean, there are some hardcore anime fans, I mean, like, I mean, like, you know, like, there's some hardcore comic book fans, I mean, that's why we have Comic-Con and cosplay and everything like that, it's because of these hardcore fans that love anime and everything like that, but to your point, yes, I think it'd be more of a, you know, Japan, Japan will care more about this than America in an overall sense, but I do know that there are some people here that whoever this might be would like, like, yes, it's their dream come true. Like they'll be so happy and ecstatic. Will I be one of these people? Probably not, but you never know. Yeah, I agree. There is the tiny, tiny, tiny possibility that it's not an SNK character that it may be another third-party character or even a first-party. 
but that's a very slim chance. And if yeah, so, nice. do you think, do you have any, like, predictions or, on who this would be? Or if it's, like, fighter number five, for example? Like, for example, right. I would, like, say Steve for Minecraft, because he's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, what I originally, yeah, what I originally thought, like, okay, so, I kind of knew ever since, like, they announced Joker, I already kind of figured, okay, so this is gonna be your all third parties and if you're like me if you're someone like me you're like fighter pass you need new fighters maybe we'll actually get you know first parties or at the most yeah first parties and then we have joker joker i wasn't like against but i was like okay so this is probably gonna be all third parties and then we have hero banjo and kazooie i mean I prefer these third parties to some of the other third parties I have seen, you know, that were rumored and everything, but I was um, originally thinking for the fourth would probably be, again, a third party, and um, I was thinking Steve from Minecraft as well, and uh, Crash Bandicoot, you know, that was something I thought of too. I kind of ruled that one out though, because we have Banjo and Kazooie, but you never know, I mean, anything can uh, really happen. It just seems like those two are so similar, but um, but I do think Crash would have a better chance in Smash than, I don't know, a Skylander. You know? But, <laughs> or like Shrek. Like, some of, some of the rumors I've heard were so absurd. I've heard so I know, some absurd. of those aren't even rumors. They're not Okay, I'm sorry if I'm going to disappoint you, but they're not going to add Shrek. They're not going to no. add a random like, character. Like, yeah, I mean, they're like, not going to add Mickey Mouse. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, of course, yeah. Like, could you just imagine that? No. <laughs> that would be the most... I think that would probably be the most random thing I've ever seen Nintendo do on anything in my life before if they added... Shrek, but I have, you know, you you hear rumors that now and then. I mean, again, some of these rumors... Are those like even Steve, rumors, though? Are, those are more like yeah. just people <laughs> making up things. I, I memes more than rumors, but, you know, you hear, th- you hear things one or two, and, you know, if it's something that people are passionate about, people will fight for that, so... <laughs> So, do you have any other predictions for this direct at all? Like, any other game announcements you think will be announced, or any other things related? Not that I can really think of. Not that we've really touched up, you know. Probably, you know, some other stuff that no one cares about. Like, um, like other yeah, stuff. Be your, filler. your filler games, right? I mean, like, Every direct has it. I mean, like, I don't know, like, mm, I can't really think of anything that, you know, would really be boom, boom, crowd pleaser, crowd pleaser predictions that's worth covering in this direct. I mean, this predictions direct. See, there's there's one thing I, I just thought about that has a chance, I think, and that is Mario Kart 9, because... We don't really know any big games for next year except Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I think we're going to have to get at least a tease of a new, big new game for next year, like how we got Luigi's Mansion 3 and Animal Crossing New Horizons teased last year. Right. I don't know, though. I mean, I don't know about Mario Kart 9, though. I mean, I don't... I just know, like, I feel like, again, this is not the time to announce a game like that. I just, I don't know, like, it feels like these are games that we've, like, this is the time to really just talk about games that are already coming up, and that are already being, you know, that are already, like, that we need a little bit new information on, and, you know, like, in other games, in other filler games, but this isn't really gonna be, like, I feel like this isn't gonna be a big direct, you know, about big stuff, like new games or everything like that. I feel like this is just games, like, just kind of like E3 games that we already kind of know, you know that we have information on and we just talk and this is a direct to just talk more about those games and one or and we might have one or two more games mentioned but this is that's i that's what i feel like this direct is about just talking about games that we already know are coming out and then like in the january february direct we get like 
announcements of big games for 2020. Right. So, I think that about covers it. I just want to ask you, how do you think this Direct will compare to the others this year? And by others, I mean the um, E3 one and the um, February, Feb- February Nintendo Direct. We do well. I'll add in. There was the su- the Super Mario Maker two specific direct. Well, if you're gonna count that one, you know for sure. I definitely think that this one will definitely be better than some of those directs, like the Super the Super Mario Maker direct. You know, I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, that direct. That I feel like this will definitely surpass that. Um, you could even call that one a direct, but I could go into that for another ooh, another 15 minutes, but I won't because, you know, we're trying to wrap this up. But, um, yeah, I just, I feel like this one might be the best out of those so far. I won't call this the best of the year, but um, I'm hoping that it will be better than the ones that we've previously had since we kind of know these we kind of know about these titles already and you know we what we kind of really want is just more information about like sword and shield and you know if possibly to uh 20 tokyo 2020 we want more information on more information on you know little like I guess, yeah we just kind of want more information about these games that are coming up and for that i feel like you know I hope, um, I'm hoping, and I'm predicting, as this title, as this YouTube video title is called, that it will be, um, the best out of those. I'm not, I know for a fact, anything can be the Super Mario Maker 2 Direct, anything, I don't even care, you know, I mean, like, if it's, yeah, like, Anything can basically beat that because that was just a direct. That wasn't a direct. That was just more of a 17 minute showcase on Super Mario Maker 2. But I'm, you know, that will. So this will obviously surpass that. But I'm hoping this will be the best out of those. I will not call it the best of the year, but I'm hoping it's the best out of those. I agree. The only one. See, I thought this is going to be better than February for sure. The Mario Maker, I didn't have as much of a problem with you. I thought it was just more of like a showcase. See, I thought it should have been, I don't understand how they label a direct now because the joke, because the Joker, the Joker video on YouTube was 15 minutes and that should have, in my opinion, that could have been categorized as a direct. Well, yeah, like with the Super Mario Maker 2, my problem with it is it's not really a direct. It's more it was of a, more of a video, yeah. It was more of a big ad for a big long ad for Super Mario Maker 2. And if you're like me, you know, you still sit through, you know, big long ads that are labeled directs, even though you're probably not going to get the game, but you still sit through it because it's a direct. And you know, you you're thinking maybe it might be a little bit more direct, directy, you know, like, but it wasn't. And I think that's my real problem with that one. But yeah. again, if you if you uh, want to hear my full rant about this game, you won't find it here on this um, episode because we really have to really have a, a crunch on time right now. But um, yeah, so I just want to quickly say I don't. It it might not be. Um, the E3 one, but I think it has a it has the possibility to beat it, and I'm really looking forward to watching this. Yes, me too. Me too. Okay, so I think that about covers it. Thanks for watching, and consider subscribing for more on Nintendo Directs and everything else Nintendo.